Hi everyone, in this video we are going to be looking at the literal regional mock of this year for that math paper 2 and we are going to be looking at question 10. The question reads, consider the sequence UN defined by that A proved by mathematical induction that UN is less than or equal to Q for all M greater than or equal to 0 B show that UN is monotonic increasing C show that UN is convergent and deduce its limit Another sequence Vn is defined as Vn is equal to n times 3 minus un for all n greater than or equal to 1. Z show that U, Vn is a geometric progression E, express Vn in terms of n, and F hence deduce an expression for un in terms of n. Okay, so the first part is asking us to show that un is less than or equal to 3 by Manmaska induction for all n greater than or equal to 0. So, we begin with letting the statement Pn be Un is less than or equal to 3 for all n greater than or equal to 0. From there, we begin with our base case, that is, we verify if the statement P0 is true. So, for n equal to 0, my statement P0 is U0 is less than or equal to 3. Since U0 is equal to 5 on 2, which is less than or equal to 3 because it is 2.5, then the statement P0 is true. Now, we introduce our induction hypothesis where we suppose that the statement is true for n equal to k so it means that the statement p of k is true now we use this induction hypothesis to prove that it is true for n equal to k plus one and we refer to that state as the induction step so we are supposed to prove the statement that um, uk plus one is less than or equal to three for all n greater than or equal to zero so we begin with uk plus one first now we had un plus 1 originally so from there you replace n with k you get uk plus 1 so from there you know that k is greater than or equal to 0 it means k plus 1 is greater than or equal to 1 so it means 2 times k plus 1 is greater than or equal to 2 it means that it is positive so the denominator is positive now from our induction hypothesis we know that uk is less than or equal to 3 since we suppose that it was true it means that if you subtract uk on both sides you are going to have zero is less than or equal to three minus uk so from there we see that three minus uk is greater than or equal to zero so three minus uk divided by two times k plus one will be greater than or equal to zero because you're dividing a positive number here divided by another positive number and this can never be zero but the numerator can be zero that is why you have something greater than or equal to zero so from there if you multiply both sides of this equation by k you're going to have this quantity greater than or equal to zero because k is greater than or equal to zero so the inequality sign remains intact from there you can multiply by the negative sign and now the inequality sign changes now we, we add to it on both sides so we add to it to this we get this we add to it to zero we get this but now this left hand side is simply uk plus 1 and then the right hand side is 3 so it means uk plus 1 is less than or equal to 3 meaning that my statement pk plus 1 is true so we have done with um, the man mask induction we can conclude that um since it was true for n equal to 0 and it is true for n equal to k plus 1 as supposed true for n equal to k then it is true for all values of n that are greater than or equal to 0 now, B part is asking us to show that UN is monotonic increasing. So, we are just required to show that UN plus 1 minus UN is strictly greater than 0. So, we look for the expression of UN plus 1 minus UN. UN plus 1 is this quantity, which is this, then minus UN. From there, we can try to group 3 minus UN together. So, we have 3 minus UN, then minus this quantity. Now, we see 3 minus UN is here and it is here. So, we can factor it out. So factoring out 3 minus un from here we get 1, we factor out from here we get this. Now un plus 1 minus un simplifies to, um, when you look for the LCM here, this is 2n plus 2, you multiply with 1 and then you subtract n from it. So like terms together, we have 2n minus n which is n then plus 2. So from there we have un plus 1 minus un to be 3 minus un times this quantity. But we know that n is positive. Since n is positive, it means that n plus 2 is positive. Okay. And uh, the denominator is also positive. Since this is positive and this is positive, it simply means that the ratio is also positive. 
now we know that 3 minus un is greater than or equal to 0 yes 3 minus un is greater than or equal to 0 because un is less than 0 even from here we can see 3 minus un is greater than or equal to 0 because un is less than 3 sorry so from there we now multiply 3 minus un to this quantity to this side and we get 3 minus un times this quantity to be greater than or equal to 0 not strictly greater than again it is greater than or equal to 0 because this 3 minus un can be equal to 0 so from there we see that un plus 1 minus un is greater than or equal to 0 so definitely um, it is not just monotonic increasing it is generally increasing because it can be equal to 0 because increasing means it is this difference is greater than or equal to 0 the monotony means it's just strictly so probably there was um, a mistake with the equation because from here 3 minus n can be equal to 0 that is why we have our greater than or equal to 0 here okay the second part that is the third part sorry is asking us to show that un is convergent and we deduce the limit so the theorem is that every bounded monotonic sequence converges so every sequence that is bounded and monotonic converges if it is monotonic increasing and bounded from above it converges to the upper limit or to the upper bound and the, the reverse goes for monotonic decreasing and bounded from below so in this case we have un plus one minus un greater than zero meaning that un is monotonic increasing and it is bounded from above it means that it converges now deducing the limit the limit gives us theory already that's that's uh, what the theorem says monotonic increasing bounded from above the limit of the the sequence is the upper bound but we we can still find it from here now as n tends to infinity un plus one tends to un means that they have the same limit i will call the limit l now the limit of un plus one is the limit of all this quantity to be equal to the limit of un which is l now the limit of this quantity is the limit of theory which is theory minus the limit of this entire quantity i can group this entire quantity as this just replacing un here with l because we are taking the limit so from there as n tends to infinity this quantity tends to one so we have half times three minus l so we simplify and we still get l to be three but this is not required because we are asked to deduce and not to find but if you are asked to find you're going to use this but since you're asked to deduce then you just use the theorem now um we have a new sequence which is vn which is n times three minus un defined for all n greater than or equal to one first we have to show that vn is geometric what are we to show we are simply to show that vn plus one divided by vn is equal to a constant which is the common ratio of vn okay so we look for vn plus one we have been given vn so vn plus one we just replace n with n plus one so we get vn plus one to be n plus one into three minus un plus one but we can find three minus un plus one actually so from here we have un plus one is equal to this quantity if we if we take if we if we send un plus one this way and we send this quantity this way we are going to get three minus un plus one to be this quantity so from there it means our vn plus one is simply n plus one times three minus un plus one is this quantity that is n into three minus n divided by two times n plus one now n plus one and n plus one cancel this term up here is simply our vn so we have a half times vn that is vn plus one so we do the ratio of vn plus one on vn we get a half it means that vn is a geometric progression because um the ratio has given us a, given us a constant and we refer to